Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Let us start our chest imaging made easy course. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulullah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ajma'in. Allahumma anfa'ni bima allamtani wa allimni bima yamfa'ni wa zidni ilman innaka al-alim al-hakim. Allahumma akhrijna min gulumat al-wahm wa akrimna binur al-fahm. وحت علينا بمعرفة العلم وسهل أخلاقنا بالحلم اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل. This course, just imaging made easy course, is concentrated on the plain X-ray, and I will tackle the CT scan and MRI in brief. And the course it is short talks each of them about 10 minutes 10 minutes and once a week or maybe twice a week and this course also very important for newcomer resident in the radiology and also for other resident and for the junior and the practicing radiologist. Hoping you will get beneficial from this course. I will upload the lectures, short talk lectures on my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. Let us start the first lecture. The first lecture will talk about the technique of the chest X-ray. As you know, the chest X-ray is a bearless non-invasive test and it is the most common preferred diagnostic examination. It produce an image of heart, lungs, airways, blood vessels, and the bone of the thorax. What are the indications of the chest X-ray? Many indications. Here I list some of them. Roll out infection, in cases of trauma, in cases of acute chest pain, patient with asthma, bronchitis, patient with acute dyspnea or chronic dyspnea, patient with hemoptysis and suspected mass lesion or metastasis or lymphadenopathy. Here we start with BA chest and the BA chest is the most common X-ray taken in the radiology department, and it is BA as we see here, and the X-ray coming from the back of the patient to the anterior to the anterior to the patient and to the cassette or X-ray receptor. And here, this is as we see here another patient with BA chest. And you should see also the position of the hands, how it is on the waist, and also we'll see also the center of the X-ray tube, the center of the X-ray at the level of T7, and the distance of the patient from the X-ray tube, it is about 180 centimeter. In the VHS view, the heart and mediastinum will be not magnified. As we said, the distance between the patient and the X-ray tube is 180 centimeter or six feet, and the center of the X-ray is at the level of T7. Homework. Well, how you know the T7 level on the patient? 
and here this is the BA view of the patient and it is written as you see here the marker on the left side and it is written erect and the patient should take deep inspiration to take before to take the x-ray why we take perform in the BA view we take the perform in the BA view because we want to assess the cardiac silhouette with minimal magnification. And also we want to get rid of the scapula from overlying the lungs. Also, we should see, we see the fluid level in the, in the BA view a uh, standing view also we see the more amount of pneumothorax than the sublime film and it is physiology for the blood vessels of the of the lungs we have high kv technique just x-ray and with the high kv technique we see the, the patient given uh, x-ray kilo voltage between 120 and 150 and uh, visualization of the lung and with and the mediastinum in one exposure but the also it is good for reducing radiation dose and but the disadvantage of the IKV technique it is replegion and soft tissue, small soft tissue density may be difficult to visualize. The double energy digital subtraction technique, here we use the double energy, high and low energy, and at the same time, and we have three, get three films that fill in one exposure. The first one without subtraction, and one with subtraction of the bone and one for bone and this is very good for uh, determining the soft tissue tumors and also the one for rib, uh, rib, rib uh, examination and see the rib pathology bone pathology of the patient other views, we have the sublime film, we have the lordetic view, and we have the lateral view, and we have the decubitus view. The lateral view and the decubitus view, we will discuss separately in the following lectures. The sublime view, the patient, it is uh, x-ray done in the critical patient, patient cannot stand and patient in the ICU intensive care unit or a patient within the uh, emergency department and the x-ray coming from anterior to posterior. As we see here, the heart it is away from the x-ray cassette and we will see some magnification of the heart and the mediastinum as we see here in this X-ray, and it is written subline view. Other views, we have the Laudotic view. As the Laudotic view, it is done for the ob obesities obscured in the abica region by the clavicle or by the ribs and can be taken by, uh, can be taken in the BA or a B view as with angulation of the tube, either caudally or cephalic angulation respectively, as we see here in the BA and here in the AB view, and the patient has small mass lesion in the left apex and right mass lesion in the right apex. 
It is really important to take deep inspiration. Yes, it is important. And uh, deep inspiration, either we have six ribs anteriorly or ten ribs posteriorly. And if it is not uh, deep inspiration, we have some magnification of the cardiac silhouette. The heart will be enlarged as we see here in expiratory frame and here we see the heart is within normal in the inspiratory frame also the blood vessels it is more more crowded in the expiration than in the inspiration and also we Sometimes we see opacification of the lower lung fields, simulating pneumonia or, or subsegmental ataractasis. This is here summary what we covered and why we need uh, good inspiration and how we assess the inspiratory efforts of the patient. The poor inspiration, as we said, it is give us false cardiomegaly and mass sometimes looks like mass in the aortic region or mediastinum and also opacification of the both lower, lower zones of the lung, simulating either infection or atelectasis. Here, the same patient with opacification of the uh, of the lower lung vases, and here the good inspiration uh, of this the same patient, as we see, it is a clear basis. As we said, in the poor inspiratory effort will give false cardiomegaly, high level abnormalities, mediastinal other mediastinal abnormalities like for in the aortic knuckle, for example. And also, as we said, it is increased density on the lung basis. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in the, in the next lecture. And 